Hello Capricorn, so I went ahead and pulled you guys out a card in your pre-shuffle and the marriage card literally flew out. So for some of you, uh, this could be about taking your relationships to a new level if you are in a relationship, but for those of you outside of love, marriage is really about commitment, okay? So you could be really trying to or really committing to something this week. So this says, I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. All right, so let's dive in and see what else is going on for you guys during this week for my lovely, lovely Capricorns, please spirit. Let's see what other things are going on for Capricorn this week. Oh, interesting. It's all that glitches, but it did seem like it came up a bit reversed. All that glitches. I wonder if this came up for you last week as well. <clears throat> Bless you. All that glitches comes through when something is being unmasked. You can see that here. And not everything is as it seems on the surface. I think you did have this in one of your readings that I've done for you lately. Um, so it's really about kind of uncovering the, the layers of something. So it can be good, can be bad. Let's see how it comes up during your spread. Because sometimes it's really just maybe somebody's expressing some feelings to you. Maybe you had some, you know, um, second guesses about somebody's um, what's going on through their mind, for example. Um, yeah, you have caring connections. So a lot of this is really about the people around you. Um, maybe having suspicions on a partner acting weird, but then they end up proposing. It's like, oh, that's why, <laughs> for example. But anyway, um, you have caring connections coming through. And because you have marriage being in the center of your reading, it does feel like some of you are really, really committing to people at this time. So if there's anyone on your mind, something could be going to the next level here. But caring connections can also be about friendships and family. Like it's people who care about you. All right, which is interesting. So some Deep conversations could be had around this time, but let's see what else is going on for you guys. For the Capricorns, please. Instinct, you're being guided to trust in your gut instincts to guide you. For Capricorn, you have balance coming through, okay, which is about kind of making the right decision, even if yourself or others disagree with it, right? It's about fairness, balance, and justice. Okay, then you have two here. So, you have impasse and completion. So for some of you, I mean, some road could be blocked, uh, not literally, but the impasse is about, um, you know, a dead end in something. And then we have completion here. So some of you could be grieving a dead end. Uh, this feels like the Ten of Swords, like some path that you thought was going to work out. Maybe it didn't, you know, um, I wonder what that is. Because it could be to do that all it glitters, you know, maybe you feel like you were being guided somewhere and then all of a sudden it just didn't end up in the right outcome. Now, the one thing to mention about this completion card is that sun is rising in the background. So it's almost like don't take um, this rejection or this failure or again, this dead end as failure, because at the end of the day, there is a new day coming, all right, a new beginning on the horizon here for a lot of you. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Being guided to trust in your gut instincts, creating a balance and to come to some sort of completion of something. You have Master Manifesto here, which is great. For Capricorn, you have Save It. Keep it for you, not yet. There'll be a better time. And you have Cry, let go of old emotions. That's interesting because maybe that's what this is. This could be like an emotional dead end, which is interesting. Time to let go of like old things. Um, feelings. Sorry, put them to rest. I'm seeing here as well with that imagery. I will show you guys. So Master Manifest is coming through, especially with because it's coming up underneath instinct. I will read them together. It's almost like you know intuitively what the next step is for you. All right. You guys have a, a very good connection with your higher self or at least a good strong intuition this week to guide you on your decision making. All right. And this says, congratulations, you made it. Everything is possible. Always know that you can. Then you have save it. We already kind of read that out to you. So I'll just show it to you here as well. All righty. And then we have that cry. And it says, let go of old emotions, cry it out. What a relief. Let's dive into your tarot. Let's see what else is going on for you guys for this week. Oops, sorry. Right, let's just quickly, I want to kind of just adjust my camera. I feel like it's a bit blurry. Okay, I hope that's a little bit better. All right, let's see. Four Capricorns this week. Let's get one card for the overall energy 
for this week for Capricorns. The Strength card, very nice. Let's clarify. So the Strength card is all about your courage, all right? And it can be strength and vulnerability, stuff like that, especially with cry. Maybe it's about moving on from something or overcoming some sort of impasse. The Strength card for Capricorn can be good for relationships as well. Okay, we won't take that. I went to go take it and for some reason it really wasn't being able to be grabbed, right? The Strength card for Capricorn. So the wheel coming through does feel like there is like the tides are changing, the nine of wands, letting your guard down. Again, strength and vulnerability is coming through with that. Maybe you guys are going into a relationship or you are opening up on a deeper level in a relationship as well, like really expressing some sort of like inner truths or they are because the nine of wands is about a guard being put down. Usually it's when in the upright, you can see she's like a wounded warrior. So for some of you, actually, what it feels like now that I'm putting it all together, you guys could definitely be really letting go of like old trauma, like old pain. Like that's why cry is here. Like you're putting your feelings to rest on, on, I feel like a lot of you may have had a lot of dead ends in your life. And I feel like that's got to you emotionally, or maybe where you've kind of always had a guard up against maybe relationships or people, or maybe even just good opportunities. You know, you kind of feel a bit suspicious about it because you've been hurt before, right? And that's what the nine of wands is. It's the wounded warrior. So for a lot of you, something's changing because of your vulnerability to go deeper than what you usually would, you know, in a situation. So I feel like you're being rewarded with some luck because the strength card is all about strong foundations to me. I always read it like a rock. It always shows up as a rock in a reading. So this is an area and it seems like this week is a very stable week. All right. One where you feel courageous and are being encouraged to be courageous. And the wheel is where things change. Things are turning. Okay. And also luck. So that's quite interesting. Something that seems scary when you face it actually has some good benefits in some way. But let's see what else is going on for you so we can dive a little bit deeper into that. For Capricorns, let's see one for their energy. Wow, King of Wands. I'm going to get another one because I didn't really like how it came out. This is showing up as you though. I like it. Passionate, um, charismatic, creative, able to adapt to situations, feeling a bit more playful this week maybe. Let's see. For Capricorns, please spirit and their energy for the week. The energy of Capricorn this week. They're showing me a crystal of carnelian. I don't know if that's something that's important for you guys. I think that's the name of it. I feel like it's for courage and maybe good ideas. I don't know. Definitely look into the crystal. But the king of wands and the sun in your energy? Wow. You're going to feel uh, maybe, you know, an all-time high is the words coming to mind here. Like feeling high on life maybe. Because <laughs> the king of wands is super creative and ambitious. Like I feel like you have this... Yeah, courage is the strength card coming through, but it's also like you have this flair for life. The sun is all about happiness, all right? And I feel like that you're just happy this week. It feels interesting. Maybe you're feeling free, whether the all that glitters card coming through, which we'll see in a second, but it feels like maybe some unmasking of something is really setting you free. Somebody's revealing some feelings that's really making you feel super, super happy. All right, so King of Wands, any projects, any business ideas, any just career moves that you have at this time seem to be working out in your favor. So amazing. Let's clarify this, dive a little bit deeper. I'm very aware that this seems a bit wonky and it's going to bug me, right? Because I'm a Virgo and I just don't want to interrupt your reading. However, it's really bugging me out. All right, let's carry on. For Capricorns, please spirit for the, the sun and the night King of Wands in their energy. Okay, let's see. Page of Pentacles. So you guys could be learning something new or feeling, again, more able to learn something new in the marriage. Sorry, the Three of Swords jumped on top of the marriage card with the Three of Swords reversed. Okay, which does feel like some of you are getting a gesture of romance here with the Knight of Cups here. Three of Swords reversed tells me that you are overcoming some heartache and pain. All right, finally releasing anything that's got you feeling, um, again, like certain feelings and emotions that have been really calling, uh, pulling you apart, sorry. Page of Pentacles is all about um, taking the first step into new energy, right? I always see it as that it's an apprentice. So a student in life, you know, learning as you go. Because it's clarifying the King of Wands, very, very good energy coming from you where you're really adapting to situations, having a lot of ideas and really pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. So I love that. <laughs> Three of Swords Reverse is like you're kind of turning your pain into power maybe or you're moving away from the Three of Swords anyways because it's Reverse telling me that you are healing yourself. All right, there's a lot of happiness. You're no longer thinking about pains anymore, which is nice. 
All right. Let's see what is your challenge or obstacle this week. The seven of wands. So interestingly enough, this is a card that comes through when you do feel like there is a lot up against you at the moment. Okay. So whether you're just super busy, that's your challenge at this time. Let's sort this out again. Um, feeling like maybe you, again, you're just super busy or there's just a lot on your plate at the moment. Um, or maybe there is just a lot of challenges at the moment. Now the seven of wands says that despite the odds, despite how things look, right? It's like six against one here you will have victory. So just because things don't look super pretty at the moment or look super amazing or, you know, successful, I feel like you're really creating it for yourself through your determination, all right, through your willpower, which is definitely showing up in that King of Wands energy. All right, uh, let's see. The Seven of Wands in a challenge position, please, for Capricorn. Why is this here? Page of Wands. So that's interesting because um, for some of you, I mean, maybe there is a little bit of gossip going on around you, and that's something that you're feeling like you're having to go up against at the moment, having to prove yourself in some way. Um, but the Page of Wands is also a very creative energy. So for some of you, you do have a lot on your plate, but the Page of Wands is telling me that maybe there is like a good aspect to that. So it's not so much of a bad challenge. Let's see. Seven of Wands. Why is this in the challenge position? Six of Wands, so you're going to have victory <laughs> over this. So again, it doesn't feel bad. And the Two of Cups is here as well. So really emphasizing uh, um, that there's going to be a lot of caring connections around you, like the beginning of the reading was saying. Because Six of Wands is about having recognition and gaining attention and being up on a high horse. People are watching you. Like that's the vibes that are coming through. So even if you are single, um, whilst you're in the middle of kind of tackling a lot of different things in your life it doesn't feel bad it feels like maybe a lot of projects and ideas coming up but the page of wands feels like somebody might be flirting with you um six of wands it's like you're gaining a lot of attention at this time and also victory over a battle that you've been fighting so that's again a really good sign that you're overcoming a lot this week as well which is great all righty let's see what is going on then for the capricorns in their external world this week Oop, nine of pentacles okay one more for that because again i didn't like how it came out external world of capricorn this week the ace of swords so there's some cl clarity communication could be an offer again it could be some sort of truth that comes through that really does unmask something here nine of pentacles as well this feels quite good in your external world it feels like material um, resources are definitely bumping up here so maybe financially you might be getting some good news about your finances actually as well Okay, the Nine of Pentacles is all about your independence, your um, financial freedom, you know, working for yourself or attaining enough money that you have enough, you know, savings. Like it's about really nice balance and um, wh whatever you're working on, it feels like that you are getting recognition or reward for it. The Ace of Swords, especially with that, it's like victory. So maybe there is just some good like financial news coming your way or maybe just some good news in general. While you've been in this nine of pentacles energy, you've been focusing on yourself, you've been in your working, working on your independence. It feels like you're getting some good news. So Ace of Swords definitely feels like good news. So could again be partnerships that could be the caring connections could be a really good like collaboration of some kind. Um, again, could be person, um, but it just feels good. It feels good for you guys. I will clarify, why is the Ace of Swords here for Capricorn this week? The Yeah, Three of Pentacles, so it definitely is collaboration. Somebody wants to build something with you. Of course, it can be romantic, could be materialistically, so like work-wise, job-wise. Um, whatever it is, it's about building the foundations and planning something. So maybe somebody wants to join what it is that you're already doing or work with you in some way. Let's get one more for the Nine of Pentacles. The king of wands so that's you and that energy so yeah you're in high demand at the moment it's what it seems like because your energy i feel like is contagious what you're doing for yourself and your abilities are what's important this week for some reason and why people want to work with you or collaborate with you now you guys could be the ones just coming up with your own plan if you've not been sure not been certain lately um the, the ace of swords really does feel like some clarity is coming through for you guys maybe on a specific thing that might bring you financial freedom in some kind of way or just a plan is being worked on in your external environment and it feels really good all right Let's see what's going on in your inner world, though. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn, please. Inner world. The death card. Huge transformation you guys are going through. Damn. Death card is about things will never be the same again. You also have the star card. So for some of you, again, I will say that it does feel like you guys are healing from something that you thought you couldn't really ever heal from. You know, it's like... 
the death card is like you're completely changing from an experience that's going on inside you which isn't like fine like it does feel like a heavy release but let's clarify why the death card is here um let's see why is a death card here for capricorn's inner world for the inner world of capricorn the five of wands so you are ending inner conflict all right engaging in certain thoughts or behaviors that again you just don't resonate with anymore it's like conflicting immature let's see death card five of wands capricorn's inner world all right two of uh, pentacles so that's about balance the nine of swords about worrying and the hermit very strong virgo energy with these two cards um so you're transforming in a way of how you think and analyze situations again this is more about procrastinating and worrying and fearing that's what's different i think you're getting more enthusiasm you're looking at things from a higher perspective to help navigate your way through things like the hermit is all about wisdom and it feels like you're gaining wisdom over the things that maybe you've been crying about lately or been worried about lately five of wands as well two of pentacles feels like you're making a choice almost internally you're balancing your inner world quite interesting because there's almost like a difference i think there's a difference between these two energies right one is reflective and, and trying to gain a lesson from something and the other one is completely oh no what am i gonna do like crying about it and stuff so what's changing inside is really how you're dealing with certain things that happen in your life and again i think you're prioritizing your happiness over everything else that's why things are changing here which is amazing i feel like you are really going to change in general um around this time which is great now let's get you some advice from spirit this week for capricorn ten of swords so again completion balance and completion that's yeah they're going back to the balance here things have been imbalanced lately in your inner world that's what's changing like i said earlier with this balance card i will show you these people are not happy but the scales are being balanced anyways so it's almost like not other not many people will ag people might not agree with what is fair even if it's to yourself maybe you've had to deal with a very difficult truth you know like the more that i'm thinking about this the more i'm holding my it put my life on hold you know whatever it is i have no idea just an example um whatever it is you are really bringing to balance here or the universe is anyways the ten of swords in your advice position is to really accept some kind of ending here and to let it go all right let's see the ten of swords judgment yeah release and surrender cry it out the knight of swords and the ten of pentacles so you're being called to almost chase this ten of pentacles whether it be a goal you know whether it be financial goal or just a goal that you want and whatever it is that you see in your future like that's st stability you know the the ten of pentacles is like a family card of stability it's a legacy it's that you know end goal that we all desire <laughs> in our own different ways whether it be an abundance of happiness within you and the family just stability everyone's got everyone's sorted out the knight of swords seems to be running in that direction once it's released whatever has been pinning it down in that ten of swords okay so a lot of you are, it's about forgiving and letting go forgiveness is only about releasing the feelings that are holding you back never about the person okay forgiveness is really uh an act for yourself okay because the ten of swords is like um like we said earlier something needs to be put to rest here and judgment is really about accepting um the lessons of the past understanding them it's also about truth and clarity again it can also be about forgiveness here as well so you can move towards your legacy instead of being stuck at this completion you're rushing towards this abundance all right and stability which is great as well all righty so and uh, this can also be a card of marriage too as well it's like a happy family you know where you're building with somebody and having that future together so maybe that's something that they're wanting you to do like go of the old so you can have a new caring connection all right if that's something that you're wanting or if it's to do with you know your career however it resonates will be very different but um that's your reading that i have for you guys i wish you guys all the best thank you for being here with me and i will see you guys in the next one all right.